Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is talk about different sampling techniques. So there's basically five sampling techniques that you can use. Uh, some are more convenient than others. The best one to use that's one is most unbiased is random. With random, what you would do is either sign everyone a number and basically use a randomizing machine like a calculator, Excel, or, or something, and basically just pick those numbers out of a hat. That's basically what you're doing. Uh, the opposite of random, what would be the most biased sampling technique that you can use, is called a convenient sample. The convenient sampling technique is easy because it's convenient. Let's say that you own a coffee store and you want to do surveys to see what your, how your company is doing. And so with a convenient sample, you'll just take like the first 10 or 30 people who walk into the door. So you take this person, 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 this person right? It's, it's in order, it's as they come in, and it's very convenient. Now there's other techniques that you can use that are less biased. Everything's less biased compared to a convenient sampling technique. So, for example, systematic technique. Systematic would be where you're assigning every person a number, and then you pick every third person or every fourth person. So, one, two, three, select that person. 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 Now, another technique is called stratify. Notice that on the top here in this uh, picture that I've already separated them into groups. That's what stratify does. It separates them into groups, and then you select one or two from each group. You can select more if you want. You select at least one from each grouping. Uh, this is a very useful technique if you're trying to find like how the how schools are doing. You have low, middle, you know, low economic class, middle class, uh, upper class, uh, that kind of thing. Because basically, with the sampling techniques, you want to get something that would be representative of your population as much as possibly. You possibly can. Now another technique uh, which students confuse with um, between uh, cluster and stratified so that stratify is selecting from each grouping cluster you select one of the groups and it keeps the group basically intact so if I'm doing cluster technique I would separate them in the groups and then I would select one group. Again the attempt here is to best represent your population. So and try to get as much unbiased as possible. So that's it with sampling techniques. We went over a random sampling technique which is pretty random systematic sampling technique which is every third or every certain number of persons uh, convenient sampling technique which is convenient lack for a better word uh, cluster basically separates them in layers but keeps the group intact and then you also have stratified stratified separates them in the layers and selects one from each grouping that's it